Good morning. We are on location at Imperial Dam. To my right, uh, Imperial Dam is the start of the All-American Canal. Waters from the Colorado River get through Imperial Dam here at this point. Hello, I'm uh, Keith Rowland. I've been working with Imperial Irrigation District for 27 years. I'm a Headworks uh, operator, or now it's water dispatcher one. Uh, this is where we dispatch all the water that comes in from the uh, Colorado River from Hoover and Parker Dam. Uh, we divert the water to the water users from this point. I am standing on site of the three desilting basins of the All-American Canal. In this location, sand and silt are removed from the water and returned back to the Colorado River through underground pipes in this direction. My name is Henry Beltran. We're underneath the gallery right now. Uh, these pipes are about 24 inches in diameter and in, inside of these pipes are coated with cement and all, this, all the sand comes in this pipe and it goes down the, to the channel of the uh, spillway. Good morning, my name is Luis Parra. I'm here visiting the All-American Canal. We're in a control section where the estimated width of the canal is about 225 feet. The depth at this moment is between 12 to 14 feet. The canal is at a medium stage. Uh, the flow is about 6800 CFS at this moment and the estimated velocity is between 2.2 I'm standing here at the intersection of the All-American Canal and Bee Wash Overshoot. As you see in here, we have um, uh, an overpass, uh, which uh, it's not under pressure. We are standing here on the bridge 
bridge across the intake from the All-American Canal to my left and here to my right is the intake to power plant number one. One of five hydroelectric power plants that utilize the water from the All-American Canal to produce electricity. of the All-American Canal was lined in place, meaning that they first had to isolate half of the canal and proceed to do the form work for the pouring of the concrete, and then later they isolated the other half of the canal. As a result of that, there is a section or an area in the middle of the canal that is not lined. That is this is the intake structure to the Coachella Canal which goes through the Coachella Valley. Right there, we see five gates. Two of them to the right go to the Coachella Canal, and the two to the left go to drop number two west of here. We are standing here on the bridge that leads to the powerhouse, structure number four, or drop number four, uh, power plant, hydroelectric power plant, plant of the All-American Canal. And you can see over there, the spillway is currently spilling and uh, uh, you are, we are able to see that uh, the roll waves that are coming down on the spillway. Uh, most likely this is happening under a Veternik of number greater than one. District, you're at Drop 4 along the All American Canal. We have two units. Unit 1 makes 10 megawatts, 15,000 horsepower. Unit 2 makes 10 megawatts, and I think it's 15,000 horsepower too. And we've been here since 1940.